Welcome back to Gimme Five with Jones and Eli Guest Pod Edition. And boy, do we have a special guest for you today. Great friend of the pod, Davi Gazelle, Senior College on TikTok. Absolutely killing it. Go to him for all the advice. You want to learn anything about college. And we've got a college themed pod for you today. So, boys, we're in a group project and we got to draft our groups we're doing groups of three and we have this pool of 10 to pick from here it is will ferrell lebron james ellen stephen hawking drake key and peel donald trump chloe kardashian ice spice and Dion sanders coach prime davi what is the draft strategy here jones i'm keeping the cards close to the chest on this one we don't have a Wembenyana in this draft so i think it's going to come down to prime time but i will say Drake, Deion Sanders, and maybe some sleepers looking good and shysty at that number one. I think the key here is it's all about chemistry, right? In any group project, you don't want one guy who's going out doing all the work. You don't want one guy who's going to be a slacker and not do anything. You need four guys or girls or a mix, you know, doing equal work, equal share. Everybody has their role. Everybody has their spot. They got to be able to work together. Chemistry is the most important thing. Yeah, I'm a guy who likes to fade into the distance in these group projects and really do nothing. So I like people who are going to take over, but I'm also not here for the person who's texting me at 2 a.m. to finish my part. So I'm also here for the vibe. So that's how I will be drafting. So we're going to go snake format, Davi to Eli to me, and then back to me, and we're going to go back up the pole. So let's start out the biggest draft since, I I don't know, sliced bread. Here we go, Davi. (laughs) Give us, kick us off. So we were leaning Drizzy with this one. We really were the most versatile. He can bring you the hook. He can bring you the bars. He's good in the feature. He doesn't have to lead every time. But when Deion Sanders declared for that draft, I would vote for that man for president. I fucking love him. I'm bringing my luggage with me. And it's Louie. Give me Coach Prime with the number one. That's a great pick. I was I was actually leading him as well just because of the motivational factor that he brings to the rest of the group. If I'm having a bad day, if I'm having an off day, if I you know got some other work I'm doing and I'm not motivated, Sanders is getting me riled right back up. He's getting me ready to run through that brick wall and submit that project. So good pick, good pick. But I'm going to get my guy at the one as well. And my guy is really two guys. All right? Give me key and peel, okay? <laughs> These guys, yeah, it, listen to me, Jones. Jones is celebrating over there. But I'd rather have key and peel over Drake all day, any day. Because first of all, they're two guys, right? So I'm getting double the output, double the work. Second of all, they're two of the smartest guys in the world. If you see you know, their sketches, their interviews, whatever, it's so intelligent, so witty, so smart, and just two funny guys as well. Come on. If I'm doing a group project and I'm around Key and Peel all day, I'm laughing 100% of the time. And that's just going to keep the morale high. All right. Well, this is a huge turnaround. Now I get the 3-4. The only thing I'd be concerned about with Deion Sanders is he's going to get me out of the group. He's going to bring his own guys in. He's going to probably bring Einstein in. He's going to make me transfer out of the group. So <laughs> with my number one pick, as Eli mentioned, I will be taking Drizzy Drake. Can't believe Davi and I were talking yep. about it before the show. Can't believe I got him at three. Uh, a beautiful That's lyricist. That's good as Davi said, he could write you a hook. Uh, it just just a really smart guy all around, and he will always keep the vibes high. So I'm going to take Drake at one, and then I'm going to turn around right here at my uh, two, the number four overall, and take Will Ferrell. Really smart guy out of USC. Comedic genius. And again, I got me, Drake, and Will Ferrell. I mean, come on. The, the vibes are always going to be high. We could make a podcast ourselves probably in that group. If our group project is a podcast or anything creative, absolutely forget about it. Drake and Will Farrell back to back, back to Eli. Yeah, that's a good lineup. And those guys, you're right. They're probably going to mesh well together. But I still got Kian Peel, so I'm not too worried. At my two, Jones, I'm going to go. It's a tough board right now for me, but I'm still going to be able to get my guy that I wanted here. And it's not a guy, I guess. A girl. Ellen the Generous. Okay? <laughs> another, another comedian. Look, I'm telling you, the vibes in the group are immaculate, Jones. The vibes are huge. It's not a reach. It's not a reach at all. Had to go to the first woman off the board here, and it had to be Ellen. She's smart, funny. She also great connections, right? Ellen knows everybody. Who she 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 has people on her show. All people but, from all different kinds of life, right? If we need to, why do you need connections ever, for this well, group? You never know. Maybe something's going to come up that we don't know the answers to. If we ever need to phone a friend at some point in this process, Ellen's got us on lock. If we need to talk to you know some underground expert on something, Ellen knows. And the comedic vibes are going to be so high. Give me Ellen, and I'm happy with that start. So. Coach Prime's going to do a lot of talking, right? But is he really going to be doing the work? You know, I don't think so. So who's going to put 
The team one is back. Who's going to do everything? <laughs> Who's been doing everything for the last 21 years? The chosen one, King James, coming in in the second <laughs> round. And that disrespect, you know he's taking that to the heart. He's staying up all night. He's doing the bibliography, AMA, MLA, you name it. Braun's doing it. That's my second round pick. Oh, you, you, you just got scammed. I mean, he's, bad he's bad pick. I mean, did you see his Malcolm X video? He didn't read any of the book. He's, <laughs> he makes everything up on the fly. Sometimes you, you read... need, sometimes you need a liar in the group. Sometimes you need a liar, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, LeBron yeah. is going to be reading the national tight end day list to you during, during your project. Oh, just got, he just hold got the book scammed upside down. there. He's looking now, good. You start it. us off with round three. You, you have another Final pick. Round. Who is still in the pool? Can we get a reminder here? All right, yeah. So we have who we got Stephen Hawking, we got Donald Trump, Khloe Kardashian, and Ice Spice still on the board. You know, Stephen Hawking's got a little Dwayne Wade in him. We're going to we're going <laughs> Papa Hawkins because that's a great number two guy. You know, he maybe he's doing the heavy lifting. LeBron, he's throwing the lob to Braun. He's he's putting it down. Um, academic weapon. We're going Stephen Hawking. Yeah, that's. I mean, I don't know how he fell that far. That's one of the great draft day falls of all time. I compare it to Brady uh, going in the seventh round. Hawking in the third is crazy. But I don't know if the chemistry is all going to be that there. Like, your team, Davi, and we'll talk about this at the end, uh, you know, when we do a little team review. The chemistry yeah. on your team is just, it's non-existent. Um, it's but but let me, let, let me, let me go to my third round pick here. And I'm going to go, you know, at the draft board right now, don't love any of these guys, to be honest with you, but I'm going to take Ice Spice, Okay. I feel like she, of these three, is going to bring, first of all, enthusiasm to the group, right? She's going to be working hard, grinding out to the project, definitely a team player. And the chemistry, like I said at the beginning, the chemistry is going to be there. Kim Peel, Ellen, Ice Spice, you know those four would be friends in real life. And you know I'd be friends with them as well. So I love the chemistry. I love the work not ethic. Ellen. I like my team. No, yeah, Ellen fits not, right in not there. Not Ellen, brother. That's a <laughs> sociopath. Right that's that's well, a I mean, locker room killer. You guys, you guys pretty much left shit for me here. It's between Khloe Kardashian and, and Trump. I don't think either of them are getting work done. Um, but I'm going to be thinking about keeping the vibes high, and I'd just like to see how kind of this explosive personality mixes with the like of Will, Will Ferrell, especially. I mean, they're both really not going to fuck with him, so that's going to be the problem. But I'm going to get Trump in there. Oh, my the God. Four. I, I got to. I, I'm that's just not right a Khloe Kardashian right fan. It's I, not. I really, I really think that she would be a, a derailment to the group. And I think Trump knows he's a big delegator. He's really good at not doing work and getting other people to do it. So I think he would be able to push people into line. And I think he would be able to know when to step back. And then you talk about presentation time. Say we all fucking don't do our work and we need to do a last second wing it presentation on the project. Trump is good at getting up there and having nothing to say and talking for multiple hours. So I, I think he could kill it out there. That's so true. I will take That's Trump true. at my last pick. No, it's, 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 it's a bad pick. I can't lie to you because Trump, like you said, he's a delegator. He's not doing anything by himself. He's never, you know, worked a day. This guy is going to be just telling people what to do the whole time. And who's the rest of your team? Will Ferrell and Drake. Drake doesn't want to be told what to do. Will Ferrell doesn't want to be told what to do. Both of those guys do not like Trump already. The their button heads immediately. You know those guys both hate Trump, so that just takes your team out of the running easily. And then it's down to me and Davi. And Davi, like we just need to talk about your team chemistry. So if you can join me on this one, we need to talk about your team chemistry. Dion Sanders (laughs) is just yelling at people. He's also not doing anything. He's a hype guy. He's a good locker room guy, but he's not putting out work out there. Like Jones said, LeBron is not doing any work. He's just he's probably taking a nap and then lying about everything. And Stephen Hawking, he's doing all the work. But he's probably not talking to any of the other guys. They're not friends. They're hating no, he, each other. He, I don't know what you're doing. He's probably not talking. This. No, he's he's definitely not talking. I mean, we can yeah, exactly. So the- Eli, Eli, Stephen Hawking with Deion Sanders in his ear, he might as well be able to walk at that point. Like that is <laughs> the greatest motivator of all time. He'll do the group project himself, and Bronze there holding the Malcolm X up, you know, upside down. All right, it is what it is. You know, Jones. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> May have flubbed no. the second round pick, but Coach Prime at the number one, and then Stephen Hawking's in the third round, and you're telling me this team isn't making the final four? I mean, come on, this is this is a stack squad. 
Uh, Dobby, I right? honestly like both of our teams better than Eli. I think Eli is a, is a pish posh mash oh, passion. Like just like sure, if you want to write a horror movie, great. Peel can step up, and then the rest mm-hmm. of them can take his back seat. Or if, you, or if you want to write a comedy routine, like they'd be great. But this is a school assignment. I mean, this is this group is absolutely everywhere. There is a lot of chemistry in my group, and man, Trump can Trump is going to take a back seat here, and he's fine taking a back seat. This is academics, dude. This kid like coasted through you. I don't think he's trying to step <laughs> up, and he's probably going to go out and golf while Drake and Will Ferrell right, that's, kind that's of do the That's not what you want in your team. You don't want that. It's I got hard sure work you. top to it's bottom in my team, and team. we're working hard. My whole team's working. My whole team's putting in overtime. Key and Peel are grinding out the work. Ellen DeGeneres is helping, little funny stuff on the side, and Ice Spice is singing the whole way through, and I'm just chilling. My team's getting an easy A. All I, know I mean, the thing about that... Trump is you want that Mexico is going to build the wall and pay for it. You want that in a group project? I'll leave you with that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You, you don't. You don't want that. Oh. <laughs> well, all I know <laughs> is that if Stephen Hawking is motivated by Dion, it's absolutely over. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A special thanks to Davi Gazelle, Senior College, for coming on. Boys, Great to be on the pod. Thanks for talking.